Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Virtual Truck Driver Daily. This is episode number 302 and it's called Some Cracking Frosty Views. We've gone back to using the Frosty mod as there's a problem with the snow mod that I used yesterday for, for um, oh no sorry, on Sunday for Whiteout. So I've gone back to using the Frosty mod, I know it's safe, it works, jobs are good and we're using the Motricon dryliner today and we're going to be taking some electronics up to Oslo. So let's give you the full run sheet. We are currently just about to leave Agronord in Christian Sand and we're heading up to Oslo in Norway. So we're back, it's, still, it's an internal trip going from Norway to Norway today. It's 394 kilometers long for an in-game trip time of 5 hours 53 minutes. And as I said, it's 21 tons of electronics. I was going to say concrete now for some reason. Hey ho, it's been one of them days. Um, yeah, let's just let's just have a little chit chat, really. I hope you're all doing fantastically on this Wednesday. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't quite remember it. Um, oh, I've really forgotten it now. Oh no. Um. Oh yeah, I got these. Um. As we know, Black Friday's coming up, and Amazon are doing these lightning deals. Hang on, I'll stop recording a minute. Cause I can't swallow. Two seconds. I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back, guys. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I had to put some nose spray in my nose because my nose fins at the top way well it's obviously really big where you breathe in and then it fins naturally mine's a lot thinner and i get what's called qatar build up because used to suffer with tonsillitis and glandular fever a lot when i was a kid so i've got qatar build up and i just have to shoot some nose spray up there to loosen that so i can actually breathe and swallow but enough about me take a look at this view look at that beautiful sunset in the mirror and look at a beautiful view look that's just beautiful absolutely beautiful I love it um I really hope you've been enjoying the episodes last few days um it's nothing too nothing too big yet just it's just um small little trips we are working on planning on doing a mega trip but the loads just aren't falling right at the minute for a mega trip, which is okay, but I'm getting bored of doing these short hauls. I just want to drive and drive lots of lots of kilometres instead of driving a few here, a few there, 300 here, 400 there, 200 there. It's doing my nothing, to be truthful. I want to, well, just get past everybody really quick by using the autopath. <laughs> No, I just want to get a big drive in one, just sit back, chill out, not bother, just sit there and just have an objective and a country to transit through and just drive from one side of Germany to the other, for example, because I know I can do that in an episode. But anyway, it's um, it's a very weird one. There's an editing clip coming up in a minute because I actually had to pause the game. Because I was so confused about the drop. Um, no, actually I've slowed the game footage down because this is hilarious. Here we go. In and... Oh, it's there. And not enough angle. Yes, I just did it. Look at not going in and got enough angle. Would have been nice if planned and said coming the other way or something because do you know what I mean? It, it, no matter how it's weird because I know trying it, watching it back now it's hilarious, but when I was doing it it was like I'm gonna get this in, this is going in first time. But it's actually the edge of the trailer what's hitting the post, so I can't actually the the unit's through and if I that post was back a few inches I could probably get in. 
but I can't, so I'm gonna have to take the decision to reverse back out onto the road and come another way because it's it's a pain in the bum, and I could have done with the planners told Ted told, tolding me, telling me. Do you know what I mean? It's um. That's going to be one of them days today, I think. I'm just going to go back to bed in a bit. Alright, I need to take a drink. Two seconds. I should have gone in there, really, and turned around. Yeah, I should have gone in the goods out one and turned around. From what I'm being told by the planners as well, this is looking like... I'm staying... Oh, excuse me. It looks like I'm staying with this trailer, so I'll have to take it around to Goods Out, get it reloaded. That's what the plan is currently, but as many times it's happened on Virtual Truck Driver Daily, I turn the camera off and all hell breaks loose. So I genuinely don't know what to do. I want to know why I drove past it. It's weird watching it now because. No, I didn't. I did it properly. Hey! Not like me to do something properly. I ate it. You give me a tight yard with a tight gap and I'll stick it in there all day. Do you know what I mean? But, I can't do it when it's all wide open. That's, that's not challenging at all. I have to take a few, uh, a few attempts at getting it in and out. Do you know what I mean? No, when it's nice and tight and you've got literally a trailer on one side, a trailer on the other side and you've got to get it through this tight really old and you've got to stick it in there good and proper all the all the way all the way into the dock it's it's really fun, I actually like this trailer so I'm going to give a big shout out to uh, James Casterton who made this trailer well, he was the modder that released it within the Swift modding team so I don't know if it's his or not, but I just want to give a big shout out to him anyway, because he's a legend. But don't tell him I told you that. Oh, that flipping... I've oh, just, I'll explain tomorrow about my phones. And thank you all for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow where we're heading somewhere nice. I just don't know where yet. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care.